Do you struggle with making pretty looking reaction rolls? Does your reaction roll channel look like this? Well my friend, I think it's time for an upgrade. In this video, I'm going to give you a step by step guide on how to make amazing looking reaction rolls using webhooks with Disco Hook and Carlbot. So without any further ado, let's get started. To get started, make sure you have the following. A text channel where you want your reaction rolls. Carlbot added to your server. And finally, any good internet browser. Step 1 is to make a webhook integration in your text channel. Click the gear icon beside the channel. Then go to integrations. Click on webhooks. As you can see, I don't have any webhooks in this channel yet. You can give it a name which will appear as the username in the reaction roles. And you can also give it a profile picture right here. It's totally fine if you don't want to change anything here. We can do all the customizations on Disco Hook. Just make sure to copy the webhook URL. With the webhook URL copied, Head over to your browser and search for discohook.org. The link will also be in the description if you're too lazy to type that out. When here, click on clear all to remove all the preloaded stuff that's here. You can read it out if you want, but it's just a guide on how this works. You can go ahead and paste your webhook URL here. The right side of the screen is a live preview of what your embed would look like on Discord. If you're wondering how I made this empty looking embed in my Discord server, it's actually really simple. Use this empty character in the username field in Disco Hook to get the empty username. And for the profile pic, Google blank PNG. There should be a Wikipedia Creative Commons asset. Right click, copy image address, and paste it in the avatar URL field under profile in Disco Hook. There you go, you have an empty looking embed. I wish there was a way to get rid of this bot tag. Now that we're done with the technical side of a webhook, we can go ahead and customize one as our heart desire. This part is 100% up to your own creativity. But the important thing here is to show the members what emoji gives which role. You have to make that nice and clear. You see this add embed button? Click it. Now you have a tiny embed in your message. Under the body tab, you can set the sidebar color to anything. I like to make it this color so it's less distracting and looks nice. In the title, you can have a title of this message. Use this to ask the question about the role the person wants. For example, if it's a gender role, the title can be what is your gender or how would you describe your gender or simply gender roles, no one is stopping you. In the description, you should have the emoji that you want people to react with followed by the role they will get upon clicking that emoji reaction. If it's a default emoji, you can simply paste it here with the windows key plus period. If you want to use custom emojis, yes, you can do that. Make sure the custom emoji is in the server. The webhook and the emoji should be in the same server. Go into a random channel and type out the emoji that you want to use. Before sending it, add a backward slash in front and then send it. It should give something like this. Copy and paste this in your embed and you're done. If the emoji is from a different server, it will not work. To mention a role, simply copy the role ID and use this format in the embed. Angular bracket, at the rate, ampersand, paste your ID, close off the brackets. It may show as role on disco hook but it will show as the role name after you send it. Or if you're lazy like me, here's a simple method. Mention the role in your message box and do the same like we did with the emoji. Add a backward slash in front and send it. You can add lines, symbols, anything to customize it however you like. The message should be clear. That's all. I'll give you tips to make this look way nicer later in the video. After you're done customizing it, go ahead and send it. Make sure to back up the embed by the way. You are going to thank me later. When you have your webhook in your desired channel, right click the empty area and click copy ID. We are going to need this message ID to make the reaction rolls. Just make sure Carlbot is on the server. Go to a different channel and follow me. Mention the channel the embed is in, paste your message ID, the emoji you want people to click, mention the role you want people to get, and go ahead and send it. And there you go, you have made your first reaction role. Repeat the process for however many reaction roles you want in that message. And there you go. Now let's get to how you can make this look insanely better. But before we do that, let's hear a quick word from our sponsor of today's video, Salad. Salad has been a long time sponsor of the channel and truly the easiest way you can trade your idle PC power for brilliant loots like Amazon gift cards, Spotify and Netflix subscriptions, Steam gift cards, and even Discord Nitro. 
If you have a moderately powerful graphics card on your computer, you can let salad mine on it when you aren't exactly using it. For the longer you mine, the more salad balance you get. And when you have enough balance, you can claim your rewards instantly. Their shop has over 55,000 items and is an official business partner of Discord, which should clear away your skepticism towards it. You can always check out the trust value reviews if you're still skeptical about it. If this sounds like something you're interested in, make sure to download it from the link in the description and you can use my referral to get a double earning boost which makes this offer a hundred times better. Tip 1. Use a good symbol between the emoji and the roll to make it more systematic. Tip 2. Make the title a question and add numbering. I'm guessing you're going to have multiple messages like this in the same channel but with a different role category so yeah, numbering the questions makes it look better. Tip 3. Add a banner in the message to make it stand out more. Just add the file by clicking here. Tip 4. Add a description of the group because it makes the members understand it better. Plus, it looks like effort has been put into it, so yeah, why not? Tip 5. Make sure to make a disco hook backup for the reaction rolls because this is a real pain to make again and again. To edit the embed, simply copy the message link, paste it in the disco hook, make your changes, and then click edit. Oh yes, and never share your webhook URLs with anyone. Whoever has access to the URL can send any message in the channel without your permission. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. It helps me out so much. Join my Discord server. Until then, I will see you in the next video.